Creating a Lunar Eclipse Wide Angle Composite This tutorial will take you through the image processing steps needed to create a lunar eclipse time-lapse composite like this. For more on lunar eclipse photo tips, look for the video How to Photograph a Lunar Eclipse on the AAA YouTube channel. This example will discuss composites done with a wide-angle lens on a tripod. You'll have to carefully select your foreground and compose the image before the start of the eclipse. After you start the interval timer, you won't be able to move the tripod. With a digital camera, you can shoot a series of images during the eclipse, then combine them later to create your sequence. During this lunar eclipse on November 8, 2022, I programmed the interval timer in the camera to take a frame every minute. For this video, I selected frames at five minute intervals. Images from the partial fr phrases will mostly show just the moon against the black sky. Images from the total phase will show foreground details. Put all the selected images into a separate folder to make it easy to work. You should be shooting in the raw setting on your camera for maximum quality. There are two relatively easy methods to combine the frames in a free program called Star Stacks, or in Photoshop. Inspect your files and make any adjustments to the brightness of the moon in Camera Raw or Lightroom so the moon looks consistent from frame to frame. Star Stacks won't process raw files, so you'll have to convert them to another format. I suggest converting to TIFF files to maintain the best quality. They won't be compressed like JPEG files are. You can usually do batch conversions to files and programs like Lightroom and Bridge. Open Star, Check, Star Stacks and check the preferences. Blending mode should be lightened. You can keep this slider for the background, uh, for the background level toward the dark end. Use compression should be unchecked. Select open image or uh, drop images here. I'll go to my folder with all of my files in it. These are the TIFF files that I have selected. I'll select all of them and click open. You'll see all your selected files on the left side. Select start processing and within a few seconds the composite should appear. Go to save as select a folder and add the uh, TIF extension onto the end of the file name so that it will save it as, as a TIFF. Now you can open the TIFF file in your image processing program to fine tune the image. You can create a composite in Photoshop using the raw files, which will give you the best quality. This method also allows you to make adjustments on individual frames if needed. Do the same procedure in selecting frames at a certain interval and place them in a separate folder. Adjust the brightness of any if needed. In Photoshop, go to File, Scripts, Load Files into Stack. You'll see a window open up. Browse for your folder. Here's my folder with all the raw files in it. So I select all of those and click OK. In a few seconds, you'll see the list of files uh, appear in the center part of the box.
Leave the two bottom two boxes unchecked and click OK. It will take a few minutes to load all the files into the layers depending on how many you have selected. You'll see that all the files are arranged in layers in the box on the lower right hand corner. To select a sequence of images, select all the layers by clicking the first one, scrolling down to the last one, holding the shift key, and clicking that last layer. All the layers should be highlighted in this manner. Go to the pull down menu that says Normal, and select Lighten. This is the blending mode that is used by StarStacks to blend the frames. If you are satisfied with the composite, I recommend saving a file with all of these layers in case you want to go back and make any adjustments. You could save this as a TIFF or a Photoshop PSD. The file will be large. The Save as TIFF will ask you uh, if you want to image compression. You can check LZW, that's a lossless type of compression. The file, as you can see, is pretty large, 687 megabytes. So you probably would want a little bit of compression to save some space on your hard drive. You click OK, and it, it will save to your hard drive. To make a version that is easier to post or send, go to Layer. Flatten image. That will combine all the layers into one. So now you are at the original size of your camera file. You now can do any adjustments to the image. And this image can also be saved as a TIFF or a JPEG or resized and also saved. So that's how to create a lunar eclipse wide angle composite.